If you check the news, you often hear that we're in a recession or that the stock market's crashing. You might think you should avoid the stock market like the plague, or if you have any money invested, you need to sell everything and cut your losses. But is there any truth to these assumptions and should you actually be worried about a recession? The short answer is no. Recessions are completely normal. In fact, roughly every eight years since 1857, a recession has occurred. So if there's such a normal part of the economic cycle, why do people panic so much and what's going to be the best strategy to take advantage of one so that you can thrive in a recession instead of panic and sell everything like most people do? First of all, what is a recession? The textbook answer is two consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth. And GDP stands for gross domestic product. Essentially, it's a measurement of how much economic growth is happening in the world and just because you hear the term recession doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. Overall, it's a very normal part of the economic cycle and it's just something that happens from time to time. Essentially, it's just a marked reduction in spending throughout all the countries in the world and there's just less economic growth than there normally would be. Two consecutive quarters is not a very long time. Essentially, it's just half the year. So really, it's not such a big deal when you look at it in that perspective. One of the main issues why people get so concerned with a recession is because the beliefs that they have around what a recession is and their perception of what the stock market is as well. When I first got into investing, I thought just like most people that the stock market was extremely volatile that the price of a company's shares could be worth thousands of dollars one minute and then the next could crash to zero. I thought the stock market was extremely risky, that you could lose all of your money if you invested into it and that it was almost the same as just gambling at a casino. There's no real chance of knowing whether or not you're going to win or lose and the chance of making money is no greater than just flipping a coin. I thought there must be more to investing and it can't all be such a complicated gamble and a risky activity as most people think. So so I decided to research it by watching videos from CNBC which I thought would be a reliable source because it's one of the largest business focused news channels with over 6 million viewers every month. But once I started watching it, it just looked like I was watching a baseball or NFL game. My mission is simple, to make you money. I'm here to level the playing field for all investors and the host had such over the top behavior and he was talking about the stock market like you were betting on a sports game or gambling at a casino. He has no idea what it's like out there, none! And Bill Poole has no idea what it's like out there. My people have been in this game for 25 years and they are losing their jobs and these firms are gonna go out of business and he's nuts, they're nuts, they know nothing. It seemed to confirm my assumptions about the stock market that it was a risky and very dangerous activity and didn't seem to have much difference to just gambling on a slot machine. I thought there must be more to investing and then I found some interviews from Warren Buffett, who is one of the greatest investors of all time with a net worth of over $100 billion. And he gave clear cut information that was concise and relevant to normal people who just wanted to get started in the market and were gradually trying to build their tolerance to the idea of investing. It was calm and sound advice that anyone could follow and could be easily implemented. It made investing seem like something that a normal person could do and didn't need lots of in-depth research and insider information to get started. The best single thing you could have done on March 11th, 1942, when I bought my first stock, was just buy an index fund and, 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 and never look at a headline, never think about stocks anymore. And I pointed out that if you'd put $10,000 in an index fund that reinvested dividends, and I paused for a moment to let the audience try and guess how much it amounted to, and it would come to $51 million now. You didn't have to worry about what stock to buy. You didn't have to worry what day to get in and out. You didn't you didn't know the Federal Reserve would exist, <laughs> whatever it might be. I also found interviews from Peter Lynch, who through the late 90s had an average return of almost 30% in the mutual fund that he managed, which was valued at $14 billion at the time. He spoke about the normality of recessions and how people panic unnecessarily and that it's just a normal part of the economic cycle and something to be expected and actually embraced because it presented a great buying opportunity for people. This made me feel more confident in investing and really changed my perception about it and it made me a lot calmer with the idea of a recession coming and thinking that it's just something that naturally happens and should be embraced as opposed to panicked about. You should study history and history is the important thing you learn from. What you learn from history is the market goes down. It goes down a lot. The math is simple. So every six years the market's going to have a 25% decline. That's all you need to know. You need to know the market's going to go down sometime. If you're not ready for that, you shouldn't own stocks.
and it's good when it happens. The obvious question is should you panic when it comes to a recession? To answer this, I'll be providing some research that was made by Market Sentiment and full credit to him, I'll leave a link to his newsletter down below in the description box. Obviously recessions can be a scary thing, but since 1945 on average recessions have lasted 11 months and the average decline in GDP is 2.3%. And for the past 70 years, no recession has ever lasted more than 18 months. Overall this isn't a very long time and being aware of these statistics can make you more confident when a recession comes. You know roughly how long the maximum period of time is that this will last and on average you're going to have to wait at least 11 months which in the grand scheme of things is fine if you're investing for the long term 11 months isn't that long to see your portfolio decline in value. So as long as you can push on through that roughly 11 month time period you're going to be okay and you'll come out the other end. As you can see a recession only causes you to lose money half of the time. On average you would still come out positive at the end with a return of 1.7%. But of course it's always easy to say this after the fact. Hindsight is always 2020, and during these uncertain times you can see massive drops in your portfolio value. Sometimes close to 40% or just over 20% which isn't going to be easy for anyone. But keeping in mind those average statistics for how long a recession will last you can be confident that if you hold on long enough you're still going to make money at the end of it. And also just after one year of holding on to your portfolio, 85% of the time you'll be back in the green and profitable. And after three years there's a 100% chance that you'll be profitable on your investments. And if you hold on for five years you can make a massive return sometimes exceeding 100% following a recession. So definitely there's hope at the end of the tunnel and in the grand scheme of things holding on for three, four or five years is a very straightforward and normal strategy in the stock market depending on what you've invested in. So really holding on is the best strategy and of course a recession is also an excellent buying opportunity because even great companies can see massive drops in their value. Looking at the coronavirus pandemic in March of 2020 when the whole stock market dropped close to 30% and this caused very big and profitable companies to lose value as well. You can look at Google and Apple which also saw a near 30% drop in their share price which which made it a great buying opportunity for investors. Because this massive drawdown in share price isn't really something to be alarmed about because these are large and stable companies and if you bought into them you would be massively profitable today. So keep in mind that having some spare money set aside for recession or sharp drops in the value of good and profitable companies can actually be a really beneficial time to buy them because you're essentially getting them on sale at a discounted value and this guarantees you to make money from your investment. Remember if you learn something new make sure to drop a like for the YouTube algorithm so that more people can watch this video and make sure to check out my next video on screen and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.